preservations of culture and celebration of the Assamese spirit and community. So thank you both for that. Well, the purpose of today's agenda is to cover and spotlight both of your respective lives and talking through that diverse fabric of career and personal accomplishment. And I think what we want to do now is based off of the feedback of our audience, really tee up the career highlights of achievement for both of you respectively. And what I want to do now is move over first to a quick spotlight on Mitra Ba. So Mitra Ba, maybe we could take some time on your behalf, just chat through what it is that you do and what your position entails, maybe how you found that career passion in life for some of the younger audience members and also for other people that are just curious about the really interesting world and fabric of uh, international journalism. Thank you, um, Sanjeev, and thank you for, um, for moderating this. So I think it actually helps to just begin with the here and now because we're in the middle of one of the biggest news stories of my career. Um, actually, I would say two of the biggest news stories of my career within the last few months. Uh, one, the pandemic, and more recently, um, a series of uprisings that um, America is going through. Um, my job at CNN is literally to coordinate across our digital platforms, breaking news, our features content, the distribution of our digital content, um, and then I have a few other teams devoted to travel style, um, uh, the opinion team, and so on and so forth. So as, as, as you go further down in the hierarchy, the teams get more specific, which um, most people think of journalists um, as, you know, when you turn on CNN, it's the person who's holding um, the microphone and interviewing, let's say, the police chief in Minneapolis. Um, my job is very much behind the scenes of coordinating all of the news that you are seeing both on television and on digital, because as you might imagine, when news breaks, uh, once upon a time, it would just go on CNN, right? You would just turn on your television. The reality of the information revolution of, of the last you know, two decades or so is that you might get it on uh, alert on your phone, you might be on Facebook, you might be on Twitter, um, you might be on Instagram increasingly, or maybe your kids see something on TikTok and they let you know about it. So my job, especially over the last uh, six or seven years, has been really much more leaning into the digital aspects of journalism to embrace the information revolution as opposed to try to hang on uh, to these more legacy media that we came out of. Um, you, you asked, and I think we'll go a little bit deeper later into how I got my start, uh, but I do see some um, kids and families on the screen, and I would say one of the things I feel very fortunate about is that I got started very early. Um, I was on my middle school newspaper, I was on my high school newspaper, I was on my college newspaper, um, and I did programs that, you know, I think it's as important to know what you don't want to do in life, but I was really lucky to be exposed early to professional journalists um, and I was able to experiment with the medium and figured out that I actually really loved it. Um, as you also alluded, and we'll probably talk about a little bit later, it has been a way for us to travel the world, both with my family as we make different career moves, but also just because of the nature of these stories. Um, you know, CNN's slogan is to go there. And so, um, you know, one of our advantages is that when there is news, we are able to... Um, be a part of the story and witness history, which I really do feel like this year um, is, it, while it's a very difficult story to be in the middle of, it's also such a fortunate thing for me to be able to have the power to uh, bear witness. That's awesome. And, you know, Mitra, you have, through your career, really, I think, in the form of journalism, done so many things with writing, both in the form of journalism, but then also writing books, too. Uh, for some of the younger folks in our audience, could you maybe elaborate on some of the books that you've written or some of the themes sure. that you've covered with 